Neighborhood around the Atlanta Federal Penitentiary has historically been impoverished, but as Doug Richards shows us tonight, it is now struggling with new wealth as property developers target it for gentrification. The federal penitentiary is a looming afterthought to a lot of residents and developers who have found that life can be pretty fruitful in this southeast Atlanta neighborhood. The, the location, number one. Jacob Mills found a place with a nice view of downtown just a few blocks from the federal penitentiary, about a mile from the zoo and within eye shot of the Atlanta Beltline. It's easy to get anywhere into the city and Pretty much everything I need is within about a four mile radius. Yet the Southeast Atlanta neighborhood still has plenty of battered and abandoned property and more than its share of poverty. Census data shows the zip code surrounding the penitentiary has a per capita income 40% below the rest of the metro area. Its poverty rate of 34% is more than double the rate statewide. But it also shows that 57% of single family homes were acquired here since 2010. That's below the city average, but shows newcomers are finding their way into the neighborhood, changing its character, says Myra Martinez. Well, I used to live here my entire life, so, you know, my family and friends, a lot of them have moved out because of the uh, ra raising rent prices, and so them not being able to afford it. We have a lot of new developments. Mills says the neighborhood surrounding the federal penitentiary is adapting to development that's often too rapid and overpowers the existing streets and storm drainage. The challenges are growing too quick uh, and not having the infrastructure to support it. We want responsible developments. Some residents are hoping that the penitentiary itself will downsize its footprint and make itself a little more neighborhood friendly. The question is what will happen next with developers hungry for any available land here. In Southeast Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.